Is print dead? Not if comic books have anything to say about it. You could argue that the rise of digital media, like this video, has dethroned print in everything from newspapers to magazines to books. But new data highlighted by Tom to Christopher on CNBC suggests the opposite about comic books. Print sales are growing alongside digital comics without any cannibalization of their audience. In a time when comics characters are everywhere, TV, movies, and yes, the internet, good old floppy single issues have been selling consecutively better for the last five years. Quick disclaimer, I'm a comics creator and I sell my books in both print and digital formats, but we're not covering this story for my benefit. We're doing it because it's an interesting look into how we consume media and culture. There's two different models that let you read comics on your desktop, tablet, or phone. The first is a purchase model that's dominated by the Comixology application. You simply buy a digital comic with your digital payment of choice, download it to your device, and start reading. There's also a subscription model promoted as Netflix for comics. Marvel has a service like this called Unlimited that lets you read pretty much everything in their archive up until a few months ago. Last month, Comixology launched a similar service, also called Unlimited, featuring thousands of comics from a variety of publishers designed as a game gateway drug for new readers. There's lots of other subscription services out there too, like Scribd, Crunchyroll, and more. Now, just looking at the purchase model, digital comics revenues reached $100 million in 2014. Meanwhile, print comics are still on a steady rise since 2011, when sales were at an all-time low. As of 2014, single-issue comics and collected volumes were an $835 million business. There are still dips and bumps in the business. For instance, April 2016 saw sales go down as many publishers released fewer comics. But still, the industry is doing great. As David Harper from Sketched recently pointed out, more comics and graphic novels are being released now than any time since the industry crash in the mid-1990s. And Revenues are up. Compared to the circulation and ad revenue of newspapers and magazines, that's tremendous. So what's the deal? Why don't digital comics eat into the print market? Well, CNBC speculates that the collectible nature of the medium might have something to do with it, kind of like the popularity of vinyl records. Concurrently, print and digital comics may have completely different audiences. Either way, most comics experts agree that the industry is providing better quality comics with a broad variety of themes appealing to a growing audience. And that can only help sell more books. How do you prefer to read, digitally or in print? Get in touch and let us know. And if you want more comics info, check out our video interview with Brian Stelfreeze, the artist on Marvel's Black Panther, the best-selling comic in April this year, by the way at now.howstuffworks.com.